enter into Good Friday, or as many other cultures call it, uh, Holy Friday. Uh, For us, it's good because the Lord holds nothing back this day. He gives himself completely to us uh, on the cross as an offering to God the Father, a way to redeem us, to cover and span that chasm that we could never cover ourselves. And so as we come and begin to ask a question, we see he held nothing back from us. But our question today is, and the final question for this week, is what are you holding back? What are you holding back from God? Is there some piece of yourself, some part of yourself, some mangled, broken piece of ourselves that we may be holding back? Everything from people who have um, were divorced and remarried to those who have committed some grievous sin in their past, or maybe they're stuck in some sin now. Maybe it's some situation. Maybe you're just angry at what role God has given you, some something external that God has placed in your life that you can't control. And so maybe that's something you're blaming God for. And in doing that, well, I'll hold something back. Well, I won't do this or that. Now's the time to begin and look and say, on this Good Friday, when the Lord goes to his cross for us, okay, what is it that I'm holding back from him? What is it that I think he can't fix or that he's not worthy of since he's given this to me? Today, he gives everything, gives his life for us on the cross. And so we are called to give it back. And so my question today is, what are you holding back? What are you playing close to the chest? Now is the time to begin to give it back to him and say, Lord, I can see it. But now I give it to you and I want you to begin to help me work through it. And as the sacraments come back, that's the most powerful way uh, to begin to give those to him. But for the meantime, begin to have that dialogue now. So that when the sacraments come, we know exactly what to say and where to take them and where to start. So that we know, we knowing he's holding nothing back from us, we know what it is and we begin to give it back to him. So as we go into the tomb with him today, to then rise again on Sunday at Easter, take that with you and ask that question. And then let him bring it to new life on Easter Sunday. So that's the end of our reflection questions this week. Now, have a good triduum, those sacred three days, and then we'll see you next week when he makes all things new. Mm -hmm.